Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of um, Nyla Does Arc. Now, I was uh, just... <laughs> I just whistled all of them to come follow me. Alright, well, don't worry about it. Alright, so the big thing is, is that over here, it's so foggy now. I it went, and, second I saw it, there's a 120T Rex. There he is. And he is a male, sadly, but... I do want to tame him. I do want to get him up and going because there's also a 93 uh, Bronto nearby and I was looking to tame him as well. So what we're going to be doing is looking to get him and tame him. Now I know y'all didn't miss the first 120 T-Rex that I got from a male, but yeah, we have one now. So let's go ahead. I'm not quite, there's so much fog. Which is so unfortunate, but let's go ahead and I'm so happy. I literally just finished up, by the way, thank you, RC, putting up the three high walls. Literally, that was what I was doing out here today. Was putting up three high walls in reference. There's an egg down there. Alright. Alright, so here you are. You want to get up. Alright, combat has started. Please don't let me fall. Alright, so we're going to see how many trank shots it does, because I know last time it did take a while. But I really want to be able to shoot him on the forehead. And there we go. Now, speaking of our gun as well, I hope in the back of the net counts. See how much closer we can get. There we go. Ooh, okay, we are on the edge. I'm not sure if that's actually shooting them. So. Oh, I did not mean to do that. Oh, oh all right. <laughs> you are running away. Right in the forehead. Come on over here, buddy. <laughs> he looks just like my last one, too, as well. Like, it's literally a twin T-Rex from before. And so... <laughs> I'll have to go ahead and compare the two. I'm actually really excited because I've been wanting two T-Rexes. And this way I can kind of go ahead and... Oh, much better position too. Way to go, bro. Way to, you want to be mine. And with all the Parasiriums around, I'm going to be ecstatic to get this guy going. So, let's get you down first. All right, well, that was a little weird, Buck. So for this guy, he has a nice little white hell or mane going on. So we'll have to... God, he looks so good. I... Too bad he's not a she... Or too bad he's not a she. <laughs> so... Or uh, could go that way. Because uh, we really wanted to do some... Make him babies, basically. Wanted to get a couple T-Rexes around. And I know right now, and if any of you sandbox survivors watch this and have one, let me know if you have a higher level T-Rex that you don't mind me uh, maybe popping a female and stuff like that with. Because I wanted to go ahead and get an egg um, set up. And right now I've been just kind of getting ready for a egg farm. Uh, there's so many things that I do want to tame. And a lot of things that help me along the way is kill, but my dinos are so unorganized right now. As long as I don't hit the J button to call everyone around, I should be good to go in reference to that. And let's go ahead, get him down still. So, but what I was gonna do is I was gonna make a multi-tiered structure. And with a multi-tiered structure, I wanna put my bigger dinos in the bottom, have a elevator going up, and then on the next level, have my dino set up for uh, my smaller dinos, basically. So, and kind of make it open face so I can kind of walk in whenever I want and grab them. And then on the top level, like I said, I can just go ahead and grab them, put them on the elevator, and have an elevator right in the center with a large one. So we're close to leveling, guys. You can see on my right-hand side. Once we do that, we're going to get the large platform. And then when we get the large platform, we'll also turn around and come on. 
I'm not sure if it's the server, but we are having a little bit of rubber banding, so. And this guy's taking a moment, but if he doesn't go down in a little bit, we'll do kind of a cut scene. But with a multi tier structure, just kind of have the smaller dinos on the top level kind of hanging their butts off. And most likely you put a taming, a, what is it? Come on, just go down. Put a, uh, not taming, but a, I can't think of it, the trough. Yeah, just put the trough on the actual elevator itself. There it goes, yeah! So, I'm so excited. Perfect. landing all right guys well i'm super excited we're gonna go ahead i'm gonna kind of rope this off this is right by my base so i'm probably gonna grab my t-rex why am i grabbing I'm trying to get rid of the bushes look at him so pretty a 120 t-rex so i'm gonna go ahead and get started on uh, building up a little pen for him he's gonna stay knocked out for quite a while 4,000, a little bit less melee damage than what my last one was because he started around 200 and as well a little bit more life but we'll go ahead and cut here and I'll be right back. Alright guys we're back and we're going to go ahead and throw some uh, food on to him. He's getting down pretty far. I don't have the exact uh, thing for this so let's go ahead and make sure this gets on there. Try to add up the numbers of how much food it is so I threw in some actual raw meat as well just in case so we'll see how he takes a loot. <laughs> has some berries too. Alright so we have also five kibble and beautiful yeah he's almost there with all the prime meat that we have so I wanted to make sure I got a little bit extra just in case we're looking at 58 levels here so just a little bit of taming effectiveness loss for it there we go. <laughs> we have another. Oop, wrong way bracket. I'm gonna call you twin Rex, but you actually look nothing alike. Come here. Yeah, and oop. <laughs> rock. One, <laughs> one's like a skunk, and the other one is it green, but I. I guess it's the front profile, like they have kind of that reddish glow and yeah, it's just either way, they're brothers now, so brothers from maybe a different mother. I, I'm not sure who the alien mother is <laughs> in reference, but let's go ahead. Gosh, um It's like a white streak. That's really cool. It kinda gives it that. It's just like a nice, really defined mohawk on him. So, actually, you know, let's go ahead and call you mohawk. So, we'll call you Mo. I think that's I think that's an appropriate name. Change name. Go ahead. Mo. All right. So let's go ahead and check out your base stats. And so we have so much prime. All right. So a little bit higher melee damage than the one before, and pretty good health. Uh, so food, stamina, let's go ahead. I haven't put really any points in stamina for you. So your stamina was clearly much lower as well. So he might be my ideal tamer, because it looks like food is way high on you, but you kept your food low and just went with other points, which is perfect. So Mo, I'm, I'm super excited. Uh, so, Mo, you are the new breeder now. I'm sorry, Rex. Because you basically have the most base stats right here. And you actually technically have one more level than my, um, than Rex did. So, but either way, both great challenges and great success for these as well. And so we're going to go ahead, kind of come in. Yeah. Give me a give me a little roar real fast. <laughs> that is so iconic and perfect. So well, we're gonna go ahead and uh, cut from here and get everything a little organized. I'm gonna go ahead and show some of the foundation laying down. 
for where we're going to have the eggs, show you the size of everything, and go from there. Cool. Be right back. We're back, and right now I have a little bit of an outline of how big we want our barn to be, just to start off with. So we're going to have this be, what is it, uh, 3, 6, 11 wide. That way we can go ahead, and it's going to be pretty deep. I didn't count how deep, but I just wanted to kind of make this. We can shrink it down, add it up, grow it, but we're going to be growing it upward. And like I mentioned before, I want to have right around here an elevator going up to the different levels so I can take some, you know, like the raptors and all the smaller animals to put them up in the air. And then when they're up in the air, they can just kind of drop all their eggs down, put them on past them, and close it. So it's going to be a pretty big structure in general. But the reason why we have the thatch at laid out and the uh, what you call it, the wood pillars below, and I'm going to have it come out just one more here as well. Then we can go ahead and add the ramps going down. But what I want to do is make a lot cleaner look. And there's an arena that we've been working on. And with the arena, the this is kind of the process that they were going. And I watched one of the videos that drummers doing, and his stuff looks really clean as far as some of the work. Like I have mine pushing through up there. I personally don't mind it, or the different levels between the foundation and everything else with that. But I really wanted to set something that's gonna be a lot, a lot cleaner. And I might go back and clean that up, but not anytime soon right now. And right now, this is going to be a process. I've been making quite a bit of stone ceilings, so we're going to lay some stone ceilings on top. It'll be completely flush, and you'll even see this thatch underneath. And I'll go ahead and remove some of the thatch as well, uh, so it doesn't like poke out the sides. Maybe put like a little skirt on it around it, so it's not just looking up like this. But we'll, we'll definitely make it look good, and then we'll start building upward as well. And I, I want that clean white surface for that stone that it offers going up because I want to be able to see what exactly is on the ground, what's not. I don't need poop blending in with wood, but hopefully we will have a nice little pile of eggs uh, once this is all done and set up. But guys, I'm going to go ahead. We're going to kind of end it by heading over to Carno Island, do some damage with the, uh, the Dawn, and maybe look to get them a couple more levels. But guys, we'll go ahead and cut to that. I'll catch you later. Okay guys, and we have an alpha raptor over here, kind of running around. Try to find him again. Where did he just run off to? I'd... Hmm. He was a level 8 male raptor. He was messing around with the Brontos. But I don't see where he went to. So let's go ahead and land real fast. See if he goes. I wanted to, last time I couldn't kill the alpha uh, raptor with my pterodon. Oh, I see the little red tinge over there. So I wanted to possibly give it a try once more. Oh, level, level 8 females, final. So let's see what this carnage pertails, because that is a lot of tails flying around there. Let's see where the raptor went off to. Yeah, I want him to coincidentally take some damage from it. Nope, oh, nope, there you go. See if I can bring him into the carnage. Cause I'm not sure if a little eight raptor can take on the Brontos as well. Oop. And this also gives me a little bit of time to possibly throw some meat on him. Let's go ahead and remote use. We've been fighting a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Everyone's running because they're low life. Alright. Oh no, another raptor came up. Ah. Uh. Come on. Avoid the water. Mostly him just attacking me at this point, honestly. You're a half life. So scary, I don't know where he went. Alright, he does have some damage on him, which is good. Keep hitting I. Let's see if we can go ahead and maybe stack some food one more time and go at it again. 
This doesn't look like he's eating anything. Come on, baby. Alright, Raptor, I'm coming for you again. Come on. Come on. We're... <laughs> Oh, come on, how bad has would it be if we can actually kill an Alpha Raptor with a Pterodon? It is on my bucket list. Alright, he's getting pretty low. More meat, more meat. Stop hitting the Alright. Alright. Come on. Wish we could just like feed whole stack. That would be amazing. Be OP, because you get so much life. Oh, so fast, actually. Come on. Alright, running out of food here, so we gotta make this last try. Alright, where'd you go, Alpha? Where'd you go? There you are, right across the water. Get some more meat in the process. Oop, not in the water. Come on. Give me a level. Give me a Mastercraft. That's what I'm after. Yes! Yes! Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh man, come on. Yeah. 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 Oh, look at that. Look how pretty. <laughs> oh, and he took a poop on him. Uh, you have every right to. I'm so proud of you, Don. Let's go ahead. And Alpha Raptor had nothing on him. You sure? Yeah, nothing on him. Alright. So. Oh man, I. We got a level. It's gonna be all prime meat too. 46, 53, 62. Oh, wow, that's a lot of prime. All right, well, let's see if we got anything good real fast. So, nope, we didn't get anything this time, but we definitely got to kill an Alpha Raptor, which is amazing, guys. <laughs> well, I'll be right back. We're gonna head out to uh, Carno Island real fast. Ah. Uh. There's nothing like watching the sunrise. A man, his dawn, sunrise, enjoying a nice, beautiful, crisp morning air before pure carnage. So I just brought the dawn out here real fast, try to get some more levels on him, and see what else we can kill with it. So I killed a couple raptors on the way, get some supply drops, killed a saber. I am losing this battle right now. <laughs> Alright, let's get a little bit ahead. And. Oh, oh, tube that. Alright, brought a friend. 20 and a 4. And that was a very berry gathering raptor. Just standing in the corner. I think he did something wrong. Alright, let's try to get. You, Carno. Raw. Now I had beefed up. Uh, oh, that was pretty easy. I had beefed up the Dawn's life a little bit. Ooh, 92. Hmm. Nope, nope, nope. Don't want to get in the water. But I've only beefed up her life to 2,000, so it's not too bad. Oh, that's 52. That was a 92. <laughs> so much. All right, come on. So my whole entire screen loads up on that auto loot. All right, and it should be good for Tapor for him. Yeah, get those levels. Get those. Hmm, and level forty. Nothing to hurt to me. Well, they can hurt. 
but nothing's gonna stop me. So especially uh, if <laughs> the only thing that's downside about living in the far south like we do is I can't bring my T-Rexes over here. That would be the best. So as you can see, the health is up a little bit. My movement speed's up a little bit. I'm gonna be pumping some points in stamina right now, just to go ahead and get that up. So we don't need these stone pigs either. Arrows, which not dropping. So and we're gonna feed some uh, food into him. So let's go ahead and find some more stuff. Alright, we're gonna sneak in real fast and get this supply drop. It, oh. You betrayed me, Don. There we go. And a metal sign. Ink Leo saddle. That's nice. I just I was trying to not have tons of weight. So thank you, thank you, supply drop. You knew exactly what I wanted. Alright, savers. Eight. Get so much XP from combat. He's so fast. I don't even need a shift to like actually outrun a saber tooth. Go ahead. You. Don't knock me out, but I need you to die. Ooh, Carno. Oh, <laughs> we have a whole family. All right. Scorpion's down, which is my big threat. Is it a port? 108? Ooh. I might want to try to tame that. Especially since we use raw meat for them, so nothing fancy really needs to be done with them. So let's get you guys out of the way. Follow me. Alright, alright. Chug! Yeah. Ooh, level 88. Alright. And... Moment of Truth, are you a female? Oh, did, did we catch it? Did not. Where be you? Oh, you're just wandering around. Yes, it is a female. Perfect. Alright, well, I am... Let's go ahead and try to lure it over here. Because we do have a taming pen. Let's see. Are you following? Slowly. We'll, we'll slow down the pace a little bit. So. And then I can just bring the, the Quetzal up here. And take him home. Come on, little buddy. Come on. Which works out as well. And I've been doing a lot of mining for metal recently. Put a lot of bunch in the smiths up top. So I can pick that up along the way. It'll be a nice little supply run. So we're going to try to maybe get him over here just a little bit further. Maybe find a nice little rock. Yeah. Oh, well. We can just put him right in the raft. Maybe. Where did you go? Coming still? No, you lost interest. Get my skinny butt. Yeah, there you go. Does a little battle dance before he comes <laughs> and actually gets anything done, so. Can you catch me now? Uh, uh, oh. Perfect time to take a shit. Uh, <laughs> they are so slow. Wow. My Don, on the ground, is able to outrun him. I wonder if... Don't run in the water, that would be bad. 
Alright. I don't think this is a taming raft, or I just might be missing the point. Hmm. Cheese is over here. It looks like the drummer nerd has been on. Trying to get himself some, uh... That's where you decide to stop? Oh, come on. There you go. Get you inside the cage. Oop, fell. Close the doors. Close the doors. Run. Abandon hope. <laughs> I only have one narcotic. Ah, I right, guess. Please, nope. I didn't come prepared. I'm sorry, guys. There's a big oh gorilla Joe. All right. Is that how we're supposed to be doing it? No, don't kill my Don. Grilicha. Oh my gosh. Everything that could go wrong. Alright. So, Nui's Bronto will protect us. You know what? You know what? We haven't had a chance or oh wow that's huge. <laughs> oh you know what? Instead of taming that oh just walk right over the hill. <laughs> Let's go ahead and kill some stuff on Carno Island with this guy. Alright, so there's the rage meter, which is something new. And anything over here? So he Watching the videos from the guy's uh, drummer. Oh, let's see, what level are you guys? The T Rex is here. 76, 20. Okay. Find some carnos. Y'all got bigger things to worry about. Oh, <laughs> oh man. Ah. That is so cool. 14 Prime, just one chomp. Oh man, turning radius is horrible, but he can really turn his neck though. 17, wow. Alright, scorpions. I really wanted the 108, but now I'm just, now I'm just angry. Oh, maybe we'll get an alpha too. So, cause uh, Drummer Nerd got some amazing gear from an alpha recently, a Mastercraft, which was yeah, I didn't think that they were even in the game, to be honest with you. Can we run over the rocks? Can we? Yeah, just step right on over. <laughs> oh, this is so cool. Everything's just one shot, though. Oh, there's a little frenzy. Alright, are we out of stamina? Yeah, we're out of stamina. Wow. Alright, check out just all the raw meat that we just probably got to as well. That is, that is absurd. Alright, stamina is back. Let's do this. Let's do this. Sabertooth down. Let's see how many, many people we can kill all at once. Oh. <laughs> that is so cool. Oh, man. There's just something wrong with that. To be able to kill all those at the same time. I want to go fight another one of these guys. To be honest with you, you didn't see what happened. I mean, if you can only imagine. Oh, I'm out of stamina already. I guess that would be the biggest kicker would be you run out of stamina. 77, wow. 77,850 life. And melee damage, 125%. But it does so much damage that just one shots everything regardless. <laughs> 
Oh, this is so much fun. I'm, I'm, I'm actually looking. I want one for myself now, but oh, wow, cash! I just imagine this going through the swamps, killing every frog and titan boa all in the swamp and parasairs. Oh man, this would be a prime meat generator on top of everything, cause cause. One parasail gives you like 20 prime meat on a normal pickaxe. This guy is popping out so much. Yeah. We definitely need to get ourselves one of these. Gosh. Alright, let's finish up this full sweep real fast. And I thought that raptor was actually riding the Argentavis for a second. Gosh. Alright, get some stamina. Yeah, this guy really. Stamina is. A bitch, honestly. But he hasn't taken any damage. There's nothing that survives his attacks to honestly warrant this. I mean, like, yeah, you have tons of life. Level 100, oh, that's sad. We don't have an Argentavis yet, but coming soon, guys. Let's check out what this supply drop is. Metal irrigation pipe incline. All right, well... We already have our extensive irrigation system uh, set up. Does he, he only does large poop. They should do a special poop just for him that is just abnormally large. Run through the trees. Oh, you don't. Just knock him over. Alright, well, let's go ahead and uh, put him back. We definitely got some. Uh, a good little bit of level on him, even though they haven't touched the surface. I think some of the guys on the server have been having a little bit too much fun with this guy running around with him. Nice. We're gonna steal some chitin as well. Don't care to 100. Because we are needing cement pace. Like it is going out of style. Alright, alright. Tons of spoiled meat, tons of raw meat. That will never make it to the industrial. That's what they should do is have an industrial. Um, actually, you know what? I should go ahead and get one built for us. But get a little industrial cookout over here. That way we can just run up, throw it all on there. There you go, Bronto. There you go. Eat up, my friend. But throw a little industrial furnace over here because we can have tons of primate cooked. And then I know there's some of you guys talking about maybe getting the generators and the fridges set up over here for taming, but just have some prime meat sitting there isn't always bad. Yep, yep, there's Drummer. <laughs> I'm not sure if he fell asleep during the tame or <laughs> what, but there's definitely cheese up there. Oh, wow. Go ahead. Nui redid this. This looks actually really good in the thatch. I'm not normally a huge fan of thatch. Even though I can't control my guy, but yeah, let's go ahead. This is pretty cool. I like it. Nice, nice. It, it feels like shag carpet is what it feels like. Like, I just wish I could just kind of lay down and uh, go to sleep. Even <laughs> might be very itchy, but still, yeah, it's really cool. Well, guys, a little supply drop. It's been a fun day. And, guys, I appreciate you watching the video. So, me here and the Don, we're going to go ahead and say bye to you guys. And thanks again for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you are having a good time watching them or if you want to see more of the uh, Sandbox Survivors. And so, Don, uh, yeah. He's so pretty. He just pooped. All right, guys, bye.